Nodin Kada means hope. Uh, we normally take a moment to really reflect on how lucky we are knowing we are giving back. We are giving hope to all those fighting cancer. Our initiative normally brings so many people together to celebrate all the cancer warriors. The work of hope and courage is a tribute to Al Haji Abdelaziz Aden, who succumbed to bone cancer in 2017. We are inviting everyone to our work of hope and courage. This is our third edition. It will be on 14th December 2019 from Kibira to Korokocho. You can support our initiative by buying a t-shirt through our pay bill number. Thank you. Let's have a moment of silence. Are we together? Wasn't that deep, guys? Wasn't that so very deep? And it's my honor, my pleasure even, to host Asher Mohammed today on the show. Karibu sana, mami. What's the video we've just seen? Okay. Would you like to say hi first? But your camera's over here. Just maybe say your name and what you do. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Aisha Mohammed. Mm. Uh, uh, I'm the co-founder of uh, the organization known as Fadil Kada Leukemia Foundation, which was founded in 2016 in honor of baby Fadil, mm -hmm. who passed on in India. Mm -hmm. He went there for a, a treatment. Mm -hmm. Fadil, who is our main inspiration, never came back. After mm -hmm. three months of treatment, he succumbed to leukemia. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have several questions, but let's start with... Why is it that we always go to India? Is it that uh, the healthcare there is better than here? What, what are we saying about Kenyan doctors and facilities? I think we all know with cancer you need millions. Mm -hmm. And it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. For It's easier there because uh, the treatment here is a bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. For example, with Fadi, mm -hmm. when he started his treatment, mm -hmm. the mother was so much uh, going through so many challenges because of the financial issue mm -hmm. so we researched so much about uh, India mm -hmm. and then we had we got this hospital mm -hmm. whereby we paid we used to pay in an installment mm -hmm. so we used to fundraise on social media mm -hmm. 300,000 then we send 200,000 then we send mm -hmm. yes it's so it we find it more easier in India mm -hmm. yes. It sounds to me that there's more than just being sick. There's, there's being sick, then there's being, then there's the stigma, and then there's now everything else, the financial constraints, the moving around, uh, relating with others. Where do you come in in this we whole process? We normally come in mm -hmm. as our organization mm -hmm. to give not, it, not only financial support, mm -hmm. but also to be there for families, to give them hope strength and courage mm -hmm. because with cancer it comes with so many things not only financially mm -hmm. emotional stress yes and yes such. Mm -hmm. so we you know we have a, a, a group i cannot say it's a cancer support group mm -hmm. of course that's what we'd like to have in the future mm -hmm. but for now we have a group mm -hmm. uh, in our awareness program we normally also call on uh, the cancer survivors mm -hmm. in this way they share their journey. So there are so many people who talk about it, who like uh, tell them that cancer is just a sentence, mm -hmm. cancer is not a death sentence. Mm -hmm. yeah. We normally come in giving them hope, a word of encouragement, mm -hmm. prayers are also there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Father, you said had bone cancer. No, he had uh, blood cancer. But leukemia? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't really stick to one particular version no. of cancer? We you normally just... deal with all the childhood cancer cases. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to focus on children? Uh, because the foundation is founded in honor of a baby, mm -hmm. three-year-old boy. Mm -hmm. So the mother went through so many challenges mm -hmm. and then with adults it becomes so difficult raising funds for them mm -hmm. uh, if you post a kid uh, fighting a certain cancer case mm -hmm. they'll get more i think it's all about sympathy mm -hmm. so we get so many help it when it comes to kids yes mm -hmm. so we decided to focus on kids because it's more easier on mm -hmm. us yes and according to the video there was a recent walk tell me yes. about the walk uh, the walk is an uh, inspiration of uh, 
Abdiaziz Haj Adel. Mm -hmm. He trended sometimes back on on media, mm -hmm. Facebook. He had uh, bone cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, we took him to India, but unfortunately, he he he, he was they cannot treat him. So. Mm -hmm. He pleaded with the well wishes that he'd want to go to Mecca mm -hmm. uh, for a pilgrimage. Wow! Yeah, so he went there. After three months, he passed on. So before he passed on in 2016, mm -hmm. we held this walk. Mm -hmm. Because throughout his sickness, mm -hmm. he portrayed braveness, courage. And uh, on the verge of breaking down, he normally tells us, he used to tell us, Usilie. Mm -hmm. So when we want to maybe give up because of the challenges that we go through, we just remember his uh, slogan, mm -hmm. Usili. So we wanted to do this work in tribute to him mm -hmm. and to honor all the cancer cases. My favorite thing about that story is the last place that he wanted to go is Mecca. That's what's... Yes. Wow. He wanted to wow. go. Because he was given three months to live. Mm -hmm. So he said, before I die, can you come through and take me to Hajj? Mm -hmm. So uh, well wishers came in mm -hmm. and they took him. So he came back. After two months, he passed. Okay. Guys, I'm going to be very honest with you. I asked her this question before, or before we got on air, but I think I just want to ask it again. Just in case you're also wondering like me. You have either your heart is very big and, and it's wonderful or there's some way you're benefiting here. So how, what does this mean for you? How do you, okay, you know? I think I know how it feels mm -hmm. because my mom passed. Mm -hmm. we had, she had liver cancer. Mm -hmm. So I know how it feels to lack. Mm -hmm. So there was so much struggle mm -hmm. in, in terms of finance. Mm -hmm. So when she passed, so when I come across a case, mm -hmm. I remember what we went through. Mm -hmm. So I become so passionate mm -hmm. in doing this. And then uh, if, I, if, we, if we take a case mm -hmm. and we see this child is progress, progressing well, mm -hmm. because you know with cancer people believe that it's a death sentence. Mm -hmm. So when I see this uh, kid be, uh, getting on well, mm -hmm. I get inspired. At least I know that. I'm doing something, I'm helping someone somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it gives me that What courage. happens if, if the child doesn't make it? We can normally break down, it's traumatizing. Doing cancer cases, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes we go through so much pain mm -hmm. because we've lost a number of kids that we were taking care of. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you go through counseling and all these things? We don't go through counseling. You should. You, you're doing such heavy work, Manze, your heart. I know it's very mm. heavy. Sometimes you don't even sleep because oh. you take in a case as you go through them, you just get a call or maybe a message that the baby has passed. Oh. Yeah, it's not that easy. Sometimes, all the time, just so that bad sometimes, news does not reach. Sometimes <laughs> after the events of our activities, mm. we normally uh, like log out from all social media and at least you want to relax. But the moment you log out and come back, there's so many things that we lose track of maybe followers and mm -hmm. then you, ca you come in then you get so many messages that mm -hmm. someone wanted some help, you know. It's not easy. Tell me about this uh, social media platform. How does it help you? Do you get to interact with people? Do you get to find new kids who are going through you know, different situations. How does this work for you? In fact, uh, we greatly rely on social media. Mm -hmm. All the cases that you've done, uh, the well wishers, we normally get the funds from friends and well wishers on Facebook. At least we've networked, we've known so many like-minded like organizations that we normally partner with them. And then uh, I can say 90% of our help comes from social media friends. Mm -hmm. Yes. How can we find you on social media so we can become friends? We have a page, mm -hmm. uh, Fadil Kadal Leukemia Foundation on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You can also find me, Aisha Ahmed. My contacts are 0722 160496. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if I was to call in and say I want to help in some way or the other, if maybe money is not something that I can give, what else can I do to help? In fact, we normally ask not only cash but in kind. For example, when we have events, we normally like uh, uh, ask for refreshments, maybe ambulance, yes. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a serkali na chizaka ye. No, really. They don't help. <laughs> mm. We normally partner with other organizations. Mm -hmm. Let's say uh, Lancet. They provide us with their doctors. And then uh, an, an organization may come in and say, I'll provide refreshments from, for, for the events. And uh, maybe another organization will come in and say, I'll provide transport for so and so many, uh, for so and so uh, certain amount. Mm -hmm. For example, we've done cancer awareness in Mombasa, Kuale, mm -hmm. Garissa. So we normally find individuals who really support us. I cannot say that the government has helped us in any way. I like that those places that you've mentioned are quite remote. And yes. I think I'm trying to assume that's where the awareness fact, is needed the most. we normally concentrate on those areas mm -hmm. because they have less in, on information about cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, so many people believe that cancer is an illness that is caused by witchcraft. So that's... Ah, uh, so yeah. <laughs> Plus twist. <laughs> so that's why as Fadil Kada, mm -hmm. we come in and teach them about... It's just like any other disease. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Okay. So, for example, I, I'd, I'm trying to imagine. In fact, in our, we have a, a banner that says, mm -hmm. Saratan is your child. Mm -hmm. Cancer is not witchcraft. Wait. Okay. Why, why would they think it's witchcraft? I mean, anything we don't understand, it must be evil. I think that's why. In fact, in fact when we had this work, there's someone who uh, asked us. Please tell us about cancer. Mm -hmm. As much as uh, we know there are so many cancer cases, mm -hmm. we tried to like talk to her. So the last word she told me was, Mina onaini laana. So I was like, no, cancer can affect everyone. That's Aww. why in our, uh, in our awareness, mm. we did these short, short videos mm -hmm. with every tribe, like, Cancer doesn't choose a race, try mm -hmm. gender, mm -hmm. rich or poor. Mm -hmm. Cancer is for all. Yes, so it's high time the government, not only the government, but you and me, mm -hmm. we do more and more awareness on cancer. That's devastating. So when the mashinani, and then you start telling them, okay, about cancer, all mm -hmm. right. But on Afkira Nuchawi, so that means, mtoto akiwa na cancer, they're not getting cheated the way they should because you know in machinani areas huh? they don't access uh for example in garissa we don't have an oncologist there so when you are told that you have cancer it's either you come all the way to nairobi for a treatment mm. or you just remain at home because cancer and there's no oncologist here you'll just sit at home and die when doctors and nurses strike, it might s must slap different yes. when you're trying to organize things mm -hmm. and, and that actual awareness so you need. Those, guy, those people who are in remote areas, mm -hmm. they really have problem in accessing uh, cancer treatments. Yes. All right. Do you specify on the girl child or the boy child or it's just children? It's children. Mstrombe up a girl to tell the empowerment tenants hour at what we're on Facebook at what we're for channel on Twitter. Hashtag is why in the morning. What is your end goal? What do you what do you have planned for the foundation? What's your vision? Uh, our vision is to have a cancer support group mm -hmm. that will consist of oncologists, nutritionists, psychologists, people who will like take us through. Uh, what should what we should expect mm -hmm. during the treatment or the dis demise of a child mm -hmm. and uh, we also want to uh, reach most part of kenya because we normally get calls li like uh, for, for example in mandera wajia mm -hmm. there are so many cancer cases there they normally call us so mm -hmm. it's our wish to go there mm -hmm. but the challenges that we have for now is like uh, we lack resources to so mm -hmm. maybe go to. But in next year in February, we might go to Isiolo if all goes well. Mm -hmm. yes. For another work? 
for uh, awareness program, mm -hmm. cancer awareness program. Is it like class, like Munagada to Aponja Shule, Munawakalisha, then you yes. start telling them? We also have total mentorship program in high school. We went, when we were in Sambweni, mm -hmm. we went to um, Sambweni High School. Mm -hmm. Like, we want, we talked, we just touched some part about cancer because cancer education is not in schools. So mm -hmm. it was our wish, maybe that cancer education should be introduced to all sides, just like HIV and other diseases. So we normally mentor them, normally touch some part of maybe cancer education. It's a very beautiful thing. You're a good person, Manze. I want to hug you even right now, but Thank we're you. on TV. Okay, so what would you say is the hardest challenge that you faced thus far? Losing our patients, because uh, some comes as to uh, during their last stages mm -hmm. of cancer mm -hmm. and uh, raising funds for a cancer patient it's not easy you take months to raise maybe even a five even five hundred thousand shillings and you know with cancer cells it multiplies mm -hmm. day on yeah so it's not that easy losing our patient mm -hmm. it's really hard oh yes and then okay. every September, mm -hmm. it's Leukemia Awareness Month. We normally visit Kenyatta National Hospital. So it's traumatizing because sometimes a parent may call you, like, see a titukona wezo sana. And then mtutangu aja receive chemo for almost a week because I like maybe 3,000 or 5,000. So this one tells you this, this one tells you, like, you don't know what to do. So it kind of traumatizes. And another challenge is maybe lack of resources to run our activities. Mm -hmm. yes. mm. If I had the ability, I'd just give you choppers so that you just be flying whenever you want, then you come back. Aish. Oh my gosh. I want you once more to give us your contact details so that we can get on contacting her. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Fadil Kada Leukemia Foundation. Uh, for me, Aisha Ahmed, I'm also on Facebook. Uh, my contact is uh, 0722 166496. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you so very much, Aisha, for coming. Thank is there anything you. else you'd like to tell the people before we leave? Uh, you can join Fadil Kada as a member or as a volunteer. Oh, what does a member get? Uh, the, uh, mem uh, members normally contribute. There's a monthly subscription. Mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, such fees help us in running our activities. Yes. I see someone saying no one fights alone. This is, talk to me, where is this and what's happening? It's our slogan, no one fights alone. Mm -hmm. I need you, you need me, yeah. So it's a matter of communityhood. I'll, okay, he looks sad, but I like the message. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was kind of tired. This is uh, just concluded work of hope that he did. Uh -huh. yes. Where was it from? From where from to? From Kibera to Korogocho. Where? Litembe ukweli ama litembea in fact bado na mwana migu oh ah but what inspired me is that we have a cancer survivor here a born cancer survivor born born cancer survivor haya yeah haya haya you see him is called miles Moses miles so when you want to give up or maybe you say you're tired and you see him in front of you what comes into your mind oh ah we are stronger than cancer. I see walk of hope. Hey, namna jua kuni ni yoni traffic. Tuliko tumepo ata escorts. Wow, mm. you guys are a big deal. Okay, baka buvuzela ama in game namna yeah, bi. <laughs> oh, it's a very very sad topic and it's a very. It's heavy on the heart, but I'm, I'm glad that you're doing what you're doing. I appreciate you, and thank you on behalf of all the kids and their families. Thank you. Yeah. Dam hug to Sai because, hey, no, she's, she's doing good thing, okay? What are you doing? What am I doing? Okay, to meet Badai to discuss what to do from now on to benefit the community, okay? My name is still Valentine, and I don't want you to go anywhere because, okay, Alex is coming through with youth and politics.